Now to finish the floor of the pot, the key is to just make sure that the floor is smooth. And you can use a couple of fingers, even three fingers if your pot's big enough. Or I also like to use a, you know, squeeze most of the water out of your sponge and you can press the sponge in there. And just smooth it and use a little pressure and actually compress that clay. And then you can check the depth of the pot here just by inserting a needle into the floor and then sliding your finger until it touches the clay and then pulling it out. And by looking at, at the needle right there, so the distance from the tip of my finger to the end of the needle is the thickness of the pot. That's a little thin right there. So what I would do actually is actually pull some of this clay back in so that it doesn't, so I don't have too thin of a pot. And then smooth it over. And the hole from that needle will just naturally fill in with clay as you smooth the pot. And next, the exciting part, pulling up the walls.